Peace, everyone. It's Black High Priestess. I am in Chicago. I'm somewhere in Chicago. <laughs> but uh, I'm burning my fetish. I've had this fetish since 2015. My fetish is Geronimo. And um, he's a spirit that came to me. A, a, issue, a path of Eshu that came to me named Geronimo and um, I'm just letting go he's not showing his face but uh, um, a lot of things are changing in my life and I know it could be that seven year itch but it's definitely a time of release is what I've been told and I'm, I'm excited to do this I've already done the witchcraft rituals to set up the proper altar, the proper sacred circle that I've set up here. Got a lot of, uh, got some stuff going on, but uh, it's the most beautiful sacred spot. Look at today. Look at this. This lovely day and lovely space that I get to release my fetish, and you know it's um it's just like a a fresh start. A lot of things are being released in my life, letting go of a lot of things, pain, guilt, um, burdens, poverty. You know, I'm, I'm, I've passed some initiations, gained a lot of wisdom and even more mysteries. Aiku has been teaching me things that were pertinent to my, uh, to my oracle consultation last night that I did. And I've just been learning a lot. And so Aiku, for those of you, the, the spirit of death that passed over in ancient Kemet when um, the Most High cursed the the pharaohs the, that conquered, and the when when Moses came and and uh, caused the plagues, the last plague was the Most High taking uh, Pharaoh's firstborn son, and so all the the nation of Israel or whoever put um, the sacrificed lamb's blood over their door. The, the death angel passed them over and their their household was spared the death of the firstborn and those who didn't the death angel came so that death angel is Aiku Aiku is a African Orisha um, in the in the Yoruba tradition and Ifa as well um, and Aiku is what is known as the Grim Reaper in, say, European folklore, or, you know, the s same as the one in, in more of the Isles folklore where, in the British Isles, where you have that, that spirit that takes you on a, on a boat, on a ferry to the underworld, and, you know, you put the coins over the two eyes, um, and also, uh, dealing with the mysteries of An Anubis and Isis where um, you have to be balanced your heart has to be balanced with that of a feather to enter the mysteries of the afterlife or the underworld you know um, so Aiku is that spirit of death that the Most High used the death angel to take the firstborn sons of the pharaohs who wouldn't let his people go. I'm letting go of my fetish. This is exciting. Um, a lot's been going on, and I'm excited, you know, when you are a real initiate. Um, and just beyond that, you know, the deeper in the occult that you really are, you you get kept. You get kept by spirit. You get kept by the, the Holy Spirit. 
you know, in Vodun, you become spirit, you can become a spirit wife. And I think at this time, I'm, um, I'm choosing to have a physical husband. And so I, you know, I've encountered a, a lot of men who have embodied the, the, the ancestors that keep me, you know, a lot of, you know, a men and people, friends, but you know, I think at this time I just, you know, I understand what where my path is taking me now, and it's really, really exciting. Actually, it's very exciting, and I, I'm just happy to do this. I'm keeping it simple, but this is actually a very powerful thing that I. It's been taking me a while to be able to have the the space and the peace and the environment to actually do it in the respectful way. You could see we got the sky, you know, so we've got Olo Dumare, you know, Dambala, Naida Wado energies with the dragonflies ab around, all the butterflies around, um, you know, the spirit of Oshun is abundant. The, the sunny energy, I call this the oasis of love. Um, you know, there's even some, some unique birds flying around, playing around. And there's, you know, there's also the sacred tree, which the sun is shining right exactly over at this moment where you can barely see the tree, but see what day it is. It's just like a nice, bright, sunny day. And I just, I have the, the, the privacy, the space, you know, the sacred space. That's Obatala, you know, um, and then now you all can hear there's there's house music happening too yonder. So there's that that celebratory spirit, which is the spirit of the dead. Um, you know, spirit of celebration. Um, and again, you know, also Oya and Obatala, Oya creating sacred space because Oya moves things around. And Oya conceals things within her chaos. Um, and that's how she can hide things. So, you know, we have that. And we have Oshun and, you know, the forest energies. Ogun here, the, the cauldron. And the wood represented Ochosi and Ogun being bound to one another. As brothers. So Ochosi always invisible but always present where Ogun is in that way. So we have the cauldron, the fire, the woods, everything. And of course, the issue, the fetish. So, um, things have been interesting in, in the USA, in the world since COVID. And, um, you know, I'm a sommelier now. I'm, you know, in leadership positions. And I really am looking forward to merging um, my sommelier certification with, you know, the crafts that I do. There's a honey bee. That's the other thing I was saying. Oshun has been present because there's been nothing but bees, you know, bees and dragonflies in there. Those are some cherries I put around to to set up the space, and the the bees have been all around. And I think I'm gonna do an, another upload on what insects you cannot smash because some people don't know that you, you you can't smash the bee the bee makes honey you know and, and the bee um gets honey from the flowers and honey is antiseptic it's a it's a healing um substance it's sacred and and you so you can't smash the bees you could smash flies but it's best to do it when they're real little or else you're gonna have to deal with their big eyes. Um, you can't smash the, the spiders. No, it's just it's bad. It's bad omen. Smash a spider. Yeah, spiders weave the web. That's what the internet is made off of. The 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 mystery of the spider that weaves the web and keeps weaving the web, even if it gets blown away, washed away, messed up weaves the web now remember charlotte don't forget charlotte's web when spider was weaving messages in the web that's a nazi a path of the issue in african spirituality 
and um, Nifa, Anansi, the spider. So no, of course you can't smash the spiders. You can't smash bees. You can't smash spiders. You shouldn't smash ants. You can't smash ants. One, they'll, they'll, it'll be bad on you. They'll come. Ants are army. If they're warriors. Ants, and they build. They're warriors. They're armies. Armies of ants. Why would you want to go to war with the ants? They're, pl they're more than you. They're more than you and yours, and they're more than us. So you can't smash ants. It's bad. It'll be bad on you. You'll be at war. No, you can't smash the ants. Um, yeah, there's just um, there's certain insects you can't smash. Uh, you can smash a roach. You can smash a fly. Um, You can even smash the silverfish or the, the house centipedes, but I tell you this, house centipedes eat roaches and they eat the other bad insects that are pests in a plague. So even though they look diabolical, they actually eat the insects that are meant to be plague. And they just stay in what they just stay in, in dusty papers and cardboard. You know, they be in the in the walls, old walls. So that's the thing, but you you definitely shouldn't probably smash no centipede. No, no. Or millipede. Like a millipede? Nah. I don't know. No. They're, uh... They're aggressive. I would say if it attacks you, maybe, but... The millipede is it's uh it's got an ancient bloodline. The 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 the, the millipede, the, the African millipede, it's got an ancient bloodline. It's prehistoric. So that's where I say you probably wouldn't want to smash those, no. Um but mosquitoes you can smash for sure. You can smash mosquitoes, roaches, and flies. You can smash those. So that yeah, as she's been letting me know to tell you guys and the you know nature, Oshun, you 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 guys stop you guys stop you guys gotta leave these bees alone. Everybody sw sw swatting at the bees and this that at the bees and say, oh you're allergic to bees. You know bees only sting you if you're evil. So just leave the bees alone. They make honey, which is antiseptic. You know so no. This summer, a lot of people been complaining about bees. Stop, stop complaining about bees from Oshun, yeah? Anyway, what insects you can't, so we can talk about that another time. I wanna show you all this beauty and there's water and look at, we got the sun. Like I said, Dambala, ooh, look at that sun and Aida. The, the sky, the clouds, all this, all this wonderful, you know, just getting myself grounded and grateful and appreciative since I've been able to be a, a sacred space, you know, like this. So I really am excited to share this with y'all. Kelly Jones gave me this hat at my second to last performance. We shared the stage together. Yeah, it was the Callie Jones gave me this. Anyway, thing, and today is such a wonderful day. And I've done libations and smoke offerings and all of that, but this is dope. sharing this moment with me. I'm just actually doing some photography right now.
peace and love.